Stop making a Costco steak. Costco steak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that jiggly fucking hot piece of meat. Who microwaves their steak? I need that shit hot, bro. You gotta eat it cold. I, I was thinking about that. Did you microwave it the first time? Is that how you cooked it? Yeah, I did. It was prepared. Actually, I boiled it. <laughs> boiled steak? I boiled the steak. Y'all ain't ever had no boiled ass steak? Shit, brother. <laughs> I just gotta follow Derek for a whole day. Wearing these. Alright, go ahead. Duper spongy. Now give us a little, little jig. Go walk around, man. <clears throat> Tell me how much more comfortable those are than your chucks. Walk. That's like a way better shoe, isn't it? What are you looking at? Cody doesn't know. Cody doesn't I don't know. <laughs> You can't, feel like look. you can't tell me anything. No one cares about what you look like. Nah, they are comfortable. What, close your fucking eyes. Yeah. <laughs> like, tell me that's not more comfortable than these flat ashes. They are. They for sure are. Mm. This, is, this is very low excitement. Okay, so pretty I know. small though. Right. they don't fit. Let's see. Yeah, they're a little big. That's cool though. Whatever, I put a pair of 13s on one time. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. What Cody's, is this all about? Cody doesn't know about the high life yet. Nah. He's still young. Young, dumb, full cow. He still drinks like... Fireball and shit. <laughs> they all seem cool. I went to talk to them earlier. But the, one, the one that's a huge fish is the brand. So, not anything to worry about. It's always good. You need to get all that shit for you and comes out. Mm -hmm. You get all that shit for you and comes out. Not everything. Some stuff. Not everything, though. I'll get there. I got to pull you back. Oh, that's going to be pretty nice. The original went home with Heather's bitch ass. Damn. What a bitch ass. Whoa! The uncaged parlay. Hello. So today I didn't have any time to vlog because I kind of fucked up. I uh, woke up this morning and I was headed to the airport to head to Boston. And then I realized I booked my flight for a completely wrong day. Like, completely wrong. I, I, my flight, somehow I booked a flight for the 30th of May to Boston. So that was interesting this morning. I didn't, um, I didn't make it to the airport because I didn't have a flight. So I had to do a bunch of finagling and I booked a flight for tomorrow. So I'll be in Boston tomorrow night around midnight. The pop-up's still not confirmed. I have a couple of things working out. It's definitely happening. A lot of people have been asking me on Twitter if it's not gonna happen. It's absolutely gonna happen. There's no way it's not going down. I got shirts printed, people coming out. So um, we'll figure it out one way or the other. Just make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's probably the best place to follow me if you're on Twitter because I announce everywhere where pop-ups happen and what's going on. It'll happen. I'll see you in tomorrow, Boston. Sorry I fucked up today. I don't know what, I don't even know how it happened, honestly. But one good thing about having to stay in town one more day is I got to pick up some shoes. So shoes that came in, one pair of human races, the tangerine ones finally. Finally get to add these to the collection, which means I finally now have all of the colorways except for the friends and family ones. Those will be next, I guess. If you got them, holler. Uh, we're not gonna take a look at Pharrell's. I have plenty of Pharrell videos, so maybe later we'll look at them. The main thing I wanna look at today are the parlays. This is the regular parlay. The cage version. This is what the shoe looks like. Mm -hmm. Parlay, we've seen one collab from them, well, two collabs technically, but one real uh, general collab from them before, which is the Uncaged pair, which was white and blue. This one is just mainly blue with uh, really no white in the upper, just white in the boost and the sole. Parlay is made of mostly plastic recycled materials, the heel cup, the inner sock liner, uh, the laces, and I think some of the prime knit has recycled materials in it. You definitely feel a little bit of difference in the heel area. A lot of people have been talking about how snug these are. They're definitely snug. There's definitely a little bit of a tightness to them. I don't know if that's because of the recycled material or what, but you can definitely feel it. Like these are 12 and a half, which is the biggest that really released. There was a 13 here and there, but 12 and a half was the biggest I saw on Adidas and other spots. And I can usually wear a 12 and a half 3.0. I can still wear these, they're still fine. There's no insole, um, but they are definitely a little bit more snug. So if you're thinking about sizing down and you're not okay with the snugness, 
you might not want to do that. But the fit is still to me like true to size. Um, I'd prefer, I'd, you know, a 13 would feel a little bit better in these, but it's not going to kill me. So you have a solid blue upper with different blues peppered in. You have a really light blue and then sort of a mid-tone blue. It goes all through the upper. A parlay, I literally like the tongue tab on this one. You can lace behind this if you want to, which I think is pretty cool. The heel cup is no longer made of plastic, as I said before. Recycled material here, which this material of the base looks a lot like this material here. Um, I can't find anywhere online that says that this is actually recycled materials, but it feels the same. So I'm going to assume because of this and the way it looks different than any other Ultra Boost that it's recycled. Uh, there's a synthetic fabric underneath that kind of feels like suede. It's not suede. And then it has this sort of, like I said, mesh netting type style on recycled laces. Uh, took the insoles out, but the insoles look like this. You have your Adidas Parlay and your Ultra Boost branding. Or white torsion and white continental sole. White boost, 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 boost. But yeah, like I said before, the, the fit on these is definitely a little snug. I wouldn't suggest sizing down really. Um, like I, I've said a hundred times, I can get away with 12 and a half or 13. Just depends on the insole. And so these are fine for me, but I would prefer a 13, but I don't have one, so it's okay. Each pair is supposed to have a plastic of 11 plastic bottles. It's, you know, Parlay and Adidas have collabed before. And you know, it's cool. It's a cool little thing, cool little collaboration with companies trying to do a little bit more as far as turning our uh, human waste into something uh, beneficial and useful. Cool idea, cool shoe, cool concepts, and executed very well. Parlay Caged Ultra Boost. version which looks like this dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. so same thing uh, pretty much identical the only difference is the uncaged version doesn't have the super light blue in it it's definitely a lighter colorway because of that the cage version uh, the, the dark this is definitely a darker colorway the uncaged blue base it, get, it has a couple of blues in it and almost a gray color, like a really dark gray. So you have dark gray and light blue kind of peppered in. Uh, same thing, same materials, uh, same idea, recycled fat, recycled pieces in the, in the PK, the laces, the heel cup. This one has a Parlay branded tab on the back, which I really like. Uh, uncaged sock collar. People who don't know how uncaged fit, I think it fits pretty much the same as caged. There's still that inner cage inside here that's this um, synthetic material on the inside that hugs your foot. Foot does stay in place. It's not the same as caged for sure, but uh, I don't notice too much of a difference. To me, people are always asking me what I like better, and I think that they're both kind of the same. People just sleep on uncaged for whatever reason. Uh, same thing, insoles are out of these. The insoles are the same as the last ones I showed. I think for these, I would go true to size. Wouldn't really try to size down. A lot of people are saying that these fit tighter for them, and they definitely do. They're definitely snug, like I said in the last pair. Um, I don't know if it's just the recycled materials. I'm sure there's something with the process. The heel liner is definitely a different material than we're used to, so that might have something to do with it. But again, it's not super crazy. It just feels a little tighter out of the box. I'm sure that it stretches out once you wear it, because most of them do. Yeah, so that is the uncaged parlay. Ultra Beast.
Sager, Sager's bro. Sager's bro doesn't have a name. He doesn't. Well, you don't give him a name either. Yeah. You, what do you call He's him? He's got a sweet ponytail today, though. I heard I call you call him, him inventory. Yeah, he has a yeah. ponytail today. I call him inventory he was boy. really sad about call him. Him inventory. Boy. Yeah, he was all like, I don't mean shit to man. And I was like, you know. God, show me. Whatever you told him. Some you sneaker admiral cards. You nice. told him you couldn't even believe that we were related. You're like, I can't believe. I can't. He's like, you are so nice and he is such a dick. I didn't say you were I such a dick. I just can't believe you guys came from the same Who's, Which one's the dick? I'm the dick. And Andrew's apparently nice. Andrew. Andrew's soft. Andrew, Andrew is soft. Andrew needs I'm a little. I'm not saying that. I'll Andrew, that. Andrew needs a little Andrew's like. Andrew's not seasoned. He needs a little rearing. <laughs> he, needs, he needs a little rage. He needs to be left in an alleyway in London drunk and have to get home by himself. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, don't worry, we got it all planned you out. Experience. Yeah.